Hello once again, Mrs. VacLab fans. And by request, that is her request, she wanted to do two more canisters. Yeah, go figure that one out. <laughs> I wanted to do the Royal Pro Series and maybe pair it with the um, Little Bissell Compact, but she said, no, let's do more canisters. So on the left, we have a 1993 Rainbow D4C SE with that nice, good-looking rectangular power nozzle. And on the right, we have, if you've been with my channel for a long time, my parents' old Mila Callisto, and that machine was purchased new in 2012. Both of these machines need motor bearings, and I imagine the Rainbow probably needs brush roll uh, something or other and or motor something or other bearings in there too, because I've never actually opened that up and, and touched that one yet. But yes, the uh, Callisto has this unbelievably long wind down. So, okay, dear, go ahead and put away for right now the Rainbow, because she wants to use the Mila upstairs for the vast majority of cleaning. We will, we will reconvene with the Rainbow down on the first floor. Bye. Uh -huh. Oh, goody. Yeah. Is this a one plug or a replug? You know, I don't remember. I think it's medium length. I don't think it's something short. Neither do I think it's something that's like 40 feet. But we'll see. Uh, maybe. I'll go to the hallway and see what I can do. Okay. I'm in the hallway. All right. I... How much slack do you think you have? <laughs> what None? You see? What do you see? Okay, so just barely makes it. It might make it to the corner. I don't know. All right, so we'll try to do it with a one plug. Mm. All right, now we got to figure out the hose. I'll start easy. Okay. Hey, one down. Ta -da. One end down. I don't have it fall on you. That's why I was yeah. debating on starting. My hair's in my face, so I can't see. Mm. All right, that looks good. <laughs> and of course, you know, you can adjust how much airflow suction you want. Right now, it's currently set to max. And the position indicator is set to three. So three works well for our medium pile carpet, but she can decide how strong she wants the uh, airflow and suction to be. Okay. No, no. Oh, it's got a release. It's got a. Is that it? Oh. Hey, 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 there you go. <laughs> <laughs> hey, all the other vacuums you just step on them. I know. Uh, now is that is that wand length good enough for you? That seems good. You can, you know, make it longer or shorter. No. <laughs> you want it that long. Hey, that's less moving around for me. Yeah. It works for me. Let's go. And you got a switch on the handle. Oh. Yep, that's it. All the things I learned. Yep. Sure is nice and quiet. I'm looking at my audio meters here and they're barely moving. You sure you want the wands that long? I'll play with it and see. Okay. You want to do it yourself? <laughs> <laughs> Someday, he'll vacuum. I don't know how to vacuum. I just have the wife do it now. Now that one's easy enough. With your other hand, you could just pick it up. I am not 
not carrying a vacuum. Yeah. Not happening. Back into it already. Well, it was a smooth green and got carried away. Yep. Hose struggle. It's like a whole turn. Now I mentioned this before, but when she was a teenager, she had a Kenmore, green Kenmore. a green Kenmore canister. So somehow she figured out how to use that. Oh, look at that. It's so tall, it doesn't actually go under very well. A little bit, yep. The pedals prohibit it from going under further. I can make it go further. <laughs> yeah. Take the pedals off. Bring it around. Right, we are now approaching a cord. Can she handle the traffic, the cord traffic? I don't know. Mm. Cord can be sound. Yeah. It goes under some, but not all. Well, if it's 
over? Is that good? <laughs> well, it's better than under. Our dog Rosie brought her ball up here. for a room change. Make some nice carpet lines. There are the uh, cones or triangles that we all uh, know and love. Uh, 
I still can't believe she's using it with the wands extended that far. Look at that. That's extended for like a person that's like six foot three. <laughs> Long hairs making her hot. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, it handles vents very well. Yeah. I knew you'd do it. There you go, that's it. So. Wrecking cords one vacuum at a time. <laughs> it's called I like, turned around as I was pushing in there. Yeah. Nothing Yeah, but we have a blind canister driver here. Don't get too close to that. Yeah. That's yeah, very thin. <laughs> That's very thin. Mm -hmm. Not made out of cord yet, huh? Nope. Yeah. 
we're, yeah, we're, yeah, you're good with cord. Oh, that wind down is forever and a day. Okay, so what did you think of my parents' old Mila Callisto? By the way, when I say my parents' old Mila Callisto, they live in Florida. My mom never actually used this. It was literally their housekeeper that used it. So my mom had no idea how this machine actually would, would work because she never really was the primary user of it, if she ever used it at all. <laughs> so what say you, Mrs. Lab? Um, overall, it's a nice vacuum, easy to use. I like the maneuverability of the handle, and when you twist, you actually can get the head unit to go where you want. <laughs> um, so for a canister, it's okay. Yeah, so a thousand bucks you would approve? Yeah, I would approve. No, okay, all right. So let's go down to the first floor. Ah, we forgot to show you the cord rewind. First, we're going to disconnect this because I'm afraid it's going to fall over on me. Oh, yeah, wrong we're, one. We're extending the wand, right? Yeah, no, buttons everywhere. All right. Okay. I tell you. Yeah, we're not going to. I guess this probably does. Yep. That. There we go. Woohoo! And here we go. Ready, set. Whoosh. Wham. <laughs> All right, that still works well. <laughs> okay, take it away, Mrs. Lab. Take it where? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but wait, somehow. Yeah, how do you how do you work the cord dump? Oh. The twists. Yeah, one side. Yep. Oh, only one side. Mm-hmm. I I can get that one to twist. <laughs> yeah, if you twist it real hard, it'll go crack. Now, I'm having her, for safety reasons, uh, use the newer upgraded handle that has the trigger switch in it for, well, obvious reasons. Maybe that'll help, maybe it won't. Can't see. I'm gonna go with it. 
Yeah, that's a pressure fit. There you go. Well, you don't have to hit it that hard, necessarily. Okay, so we're all plugged in. Yeah, my son just got back. Okay, so take it away. And uh, we'll go ahead and run that little red slider all the way on low. It gives you maximum airflow, which is to say it gives you something rather than almost nothing. High doesn't give you very much. Okay. Yeah, that one you just put down by foot. I didn't want to force it. Mm -hmm. mm. Cool. Ah, there. Yeah. See, look, twist the handle and it doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> yeah, it just kind of wobbles like, around. Yeah. It just goes straight. Well, it helps you put it flat, I suppose. rare to have us actually vacuuming right in front of the fireplace. But we need to do that once every year or so. Okay, now do you want to convert? Well, now it's inside the fireplace. Huh? I'm thinking maybe I'll dust it. Oh! We'll use a canister like in converted canister mode. It's just a dusting brush. No, oh. yeah. Just that. Well, I guess this is just a big Yeah, tool. pull and twist. Pull, that'll be the easiest way to pop that off. There you go. Oh, we did it. Hey. All right. Got a full set of tools Whoa. there. Let's see. No. Yeah. No. Maybe, but let's try this little guy first. Yeah. He might be the best. Mm -hmm. Now you can put it on at any angle. So if that's not convenient, feel free to move it around. All right. Let's see. Oh, don't have to the handle. <laughs> nope. It's not an electric dusting brush. smelling the water washed air. Wind down on that D4C. Eh, it needs bearings too. This is turning on me. Okay. I'll check out that plug action. Woohoo! Let's get back to where we were. Hmm. Of course, it's time to turn my Well, it helps when you have to go flat. Cover an awful lot of carpet. That head is so wide.
has uh, little plastic beater bars in there. Maybe I should call them beater plastics. I go slow just to see. Yeah. Like, nope, mm -hmm. not doing it. Right, trying to keep the cord out of the way. She's been warned. He will fire me. <laughs> fire the help. There's a lot of cord right there, see? Yeah, I know. I don't like plugging in right here. Here, uh, uh, let me help you out. Here. We'll just lift it up. <laughs> Still going. The wind down that lasts forever. Okay. Now I'm going to maneuver all this junk in the other room. <laughs> Hold Rosie is totally unafraid of vacuum.
that did a good job. Yeah, that eliminated those uh, carpet dents. So let's can re let's uh, go ahead and reconvene in the other room so we have some more space. Obviously, the rainbow represents you know old classic rainbow technology, and the Mila over there represents fairly new canister technology. So, Mrs. Lab, what did you think of these two machines? 
Uh, they're both fairly nice machines. Again, I still think this is a little more complicated to handle because of the maneuvering of it around and stuff. I liked this one a little bit more. It was a little easier to pull around and I wasn't fumbling with it as much. Okay, so you got to pick one. So which one do you pick this comparison? All right, well, the winner has to be the Mila. The Mila, okay. Yay. I, I like it. I like the handle twist. This uh -huh. thing, you twist it and it didn't do anything. So. Yeah, it's a little more out of control. <laughs> yeah, this one was a lot easier to, to pull around and maneuver and stuff, and it wasn't under my feet as much as the Rainbow was. Mm, okay, so, so definite, you know, different uh, wheels uh, on the two machines, and the Mila wins this round. So thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more. And you thought, we forgot the Rainbow Dirt Dump. <laughs> Never. Yeah. Hmm. I think we picked something up. <laughs> yeah, I'd yep. say we found some stuff. Yep. Treasures. Mm-hmm. My fingers on, I know. Okay. Try and stop you're, the you're dirt. touching the dirt. I'm touching the dirt. Okay. Touching the bugs. Okay. A lot of dog hair. Yes. Yeah, an awful lot of dog hair. And that's what we found. Yep. I see my hair in there. Mm hmm. <laughs> Okay, we'll, we'll wash it up. Quick rinse. Well, I was going to say wash it up off camera, but she's going to do some on camera. Looking good. Okay. Back to normal. Now we're done. <laughs>